What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a look at the Flanker basic training skill in COD World War II. This basic training skill is kind of like Ghost from previous Call of Duty games, but it's more the Treyarch style Ghost, where you're only staying off the radar when you're moving. Now, a lot of people have been asking how much you have to be moving, how fast you have to be moving, do you have to be full sprint, or can you just be walking around and stay off the radar? So today, we're going to be breaking that all down. So the first thing I want to clarify here is this perk is definitely a nerfed version of the Tier 2 skill for the Mountain Division. That Tier 2 Mountain Division skill keeps you off the enemy's recon plane radar all the time. You'll still pop up when you're shooting and it doesn't counter espionage, but you could be sitting in a corner all game and the enemy recon plane will literally never pick you up. With Flanker on the other hand, this is a basic training skill that can be used with any division. This one only keeps you off the enemy recon plane radar when you're on the move. Now the first big question a lot of people are asking me is does it only work when you're sprinting? Well, it's actually really easy to see for yourself, even though I will be going over all the different movement speeds and the limits to when you're going to be popping up on the radar and when you're not going to be popping up on the radar. To easily tell for yourself if you're currently vulnerable to an enemy recon plane, just have a look at your triangle on the minimap. When your triangle is faded away like this, this means that an enemy recon plane won't pick you up when it sweeps. You will still pop up on the radar when you shoot an unsilenced gun, and you will still pop up when somebody's using espionage and deals bullet damage to you, but a recon plane won't pick you up. So you can see really clearly here that you obviously don't have to be sprinting to engage this. But then again, there is a certain minimum threshold that you have to reach in order to keep you off that radar. So you can't just be aiming down sight and walking everywhere and assume that's going to keep you off the radar. That actually won't 99% of the time. There's a couple exceptions here. So based on all of my testing and calculations, it seems you have to be moving at a minimum 80% movement speed in order to stay off the radar with this flanker perk. What this essentially means is with any one of the guns in the game, if you're walking around the map at full speed, you don't have to be sprinting, you're just walking around at full speed, and you aren't aiming down sight, so you're just in hip fire and walking around, even with LMGs, flanker will stay engaged. So you will be off the radar, no problem there. However, when you aim down sight and try to strafe around the map, you're going to be popping up on the radar because in almost every situation, you're going to be falling below that 80% movement speed threshold. The big exception to this is using SMGs and aiming down sight with the infantry division and strafing at full speed. This actually puts you just over that threshold of 80%, so you could actually walk around the entire map aiming down sight with an SMG and the infantry division, and you won't pop up on the radar. That may not be the most practical thing to be doing, I just want to let you guys know that that is the threshold to stay off the radar. Now, a lot of people have been wondering, well, if you just have to be moving a little bit, can't you just move side to side slightly and you'll stay off the radar? And you could basically just camp in a corner doing that? And it turns out it's kind of a yes and no sort of thing. You have to do it just right. If you simply strafe side to side, even if you're reaching that movement speed threshold, it's not going to work for you. It appears this game is actually coded rather than just reaching a certain movement speed, you have to cover a certain distance away from your previous position in a certain period of time. And essentially what this means is if you strafe to one side and then you start strafing back to the other side, you're tracking back over your previous position and therefore you're not moving far enough, fast enough for the perk to keep you off the radar. So strafing side to side doesn't work for you in this game, but there is a little bit of a way around this. If you strafe in a circular pattern and you don't cross over your previous path, you can essentially stay within a small area and remain off the radar at the same time. And this is actually a relatively practical thing if you're going to be using this perk. Maybe you get yourself in a situation where you can't really retreat, you can't really push right at that moment, you're just waiting for that moment to push, but you don't want to be popping up on the radar. You can move in this circular pattern, keep an eye on your triangle, make sure you're moving around enough, and right here you can actually see approximately the size of the circle that you have to do with your strafing. And this will keep you off the radar until you can make your move. So overall, this basic training skill does have potential if you use it right and if you know when you have to be moving and how fast you have to be moving and everything like that. But realistically, it just doesn't compete with the Mountain Division's Tier 2 skill. The only reason I would ever consider using my one and only basic training skill on Flanker is with a very specific class which is Airborne with an SMG and a Suppressor. This will allow you to stay off the radar all the time as long as you're moving around enough and as long as you don't get tagged by espionage because it still doesn't counter that. But that's literally the only time I would ever use this basic training skill. In any other situation, if you want to be staying off the radar, you're much better off just going with the Mountain Division. 
So there we have it. That's gonna wrap it up for today's quick video. I'd like to know in the comments section below, what do you think of this basic training skill? Do you think it's pretty much useless in its current state? Or do you think it's okay now that you know how it works? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.